Hi, baby, it's Vidic here, and welcome back. Today we are on Zenadra, and we're gonna be doing a server tour, checking out everything they have to offer, from skilling to bossing, mini games, all the different features, interfaces. And this is the home area here, as you can see. I've never seen this place before. I have no clue where we are. We're definitely on a rooftop, and uh, it's definitely a bad guy rooftop, as you can see, like the claw fires over here. Definitely the bad guys. Uh, but there's also some nice snow around there, which I definitely appreciate. You guys know I love snow, and I just I just love unique uh, areas as a whole. There's nothing wrong with Edgevale as a home area, but it does get a little bit old. You know what I mean? So, of course, over here, you've got all your different altars for recharging your prayer, changing your magic, or prayer books as well. And right up here, you got the line of all of your different shops. You got ranged, melee, and magic gear, as well as a few different skilling stores. And sitting in this little corner all lonely is Curadel, who is a Slayer Master, will give you a Slayer task if you ask it, and uh, she'll also sell you, uh, you know, resources to slay the monsters, as well as a Slayer Point shop, where you can buy different stuff, or you can learn to make them, like Slayer Helm or the Ring of Slay. Alright, so let's take a look at some interfaces. One that I found really nice is that all of these skill guides are completely working. As you can see, this is the basic attack skill guide. It's going to tell you everything uh, that you need to know about what levels you need to wield armor. But they also have this, which you can uh, click everything and it'll show you every single weapon. I mean, anything. Literally all of it. And of course they work for everything else, you know, you go to Fletching, you can do all of the milestones and it's going to tell you every single thing that you can make all the way up to level 99. Now another really cool feature that not enough private servers have is working audio options. Like at working music and all of the different sounds and environmental sounds. As you can see, I'll just turn up the music right here. I don't have that many tracks. Oh, that's loud. But they're really easy to unlock. You'll unlock tracks just from going to new areas. But I am going to have some background music. So let's take off the music, but we'll keep all the other sounds on. So another really cool option that I've never seen is the ability to right-click and examine people's accounts. It'll bring up the screen that'll show you all of their different stats, how much their total level is, and total XP. As you can see, this guy definitely likes the combat a little bit more. He's got his Slayer up really high, all of his combat stats, and uh, summoning 299 as well. Talking about useful features, they also have working shift drop, which is just amazing. This is one of the most useful things as you know, you're constantly dropping stuff when you're doing fishing and stuff like that. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier, but I actually want these sharks, so I'm taking these back. So this next part is really cool. I'm making a new account for it. First of all, it's just nice being able to customize your character like this. You know, you got so many different clothes to choose from. That one looks pretty fucking lame. Well, that one does too. So look that one. There we go. That's better. But they have very nice character customization. You can even change the color of all of the different items. Now what's really cool is of course they have normal Iron Man options, but they also have duo Iron Man. Now this is a really cool thing that I've never seen before. Basically two people choose the duo Iron Man mode, and then you choose yes, and then you can right click the other one and choose Link. When you link with another Iron Man, your accounts are permanently binded together and you're basically an Iron Man, except you can trade with each other, you can boss with each other, you can do duo slayer, and of course you basically rely on each other to get certain resources. I think that's really awesome, Jagnus has always taken ideas uh, from private servers, you know like last man standing, even like dead man mode, so I wouldn't be surprised if they added in duo slayer to runescape soon as well. So next I want to take a look at the graphic settings. As you guys can see, this server is extremely beautiful and nice, which is always good because it's always nicer to play on a server that's really good looking. It just makes it more enjoyable. But they've got all the usual settings and the client is actually really efficient because I'm able to run it uh, very fast, record everything at the same time, and I still don't get any lag. It's nice and smooth. I don't really mind when servers have basic graphics, but when they have graphics as good as this, it makes everything more fun. And I'll just sit here and just enjoy looking at stuff because it's so beautiful. Which is something that people don't really say too often about RuneScape, let's be honest. Okay, so this is the teleportation system for Janadri. You've got three different teleporters skilling right here. Miscellaneous, which is basically bosses, slayer monsters, any anything you're going to kill. And on the right, you have your mini games. Alright, so now it's time to take a look at what is contained in these portals. First, we're going to take a look at some mini games, and then we'll head over take a look at the skilling, and we're going to save the best for last the bosses. And you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that because I'm going to be fighting two extremely challenging bosses by myself and hopefully I kill them both. You know, no, no, I am going to kill them both. It's going to happen. They're very hard, so I'm going to need a lot of luck, but hopefully I can do it and hopefully I can get something good. 
But before we do that, we do have a couple mini games to check out. Now, of course, you guys already know what Barrows is, Dual Arena, Warriors Guild. That's all old stuff. We want to take a look at the new stuff, starting with the Fight Kiln. Now, in order to get into the Fight Kiln, you do need a Fire Cape. Simply have it in your inventory, and then you can enter the cave. It will not consume it. Don't worry about that. So you can use one Fire Cape and fight it as many times as you want. Oh, right now. That looks fucking sick. That actually looks great. Now, um, this is the guy. What do we do with this guy? Just talk to me. He looks like he'd be the showrunner here, you know? Yeah, he does. Let's fight. No, nope, let's fight. Let's get him right to it. Okay, that's great. That's my kind of dialogue, boy. Yes, I accept the challenge. So basically, if you guys know what the fight caves are, it's when you fight through uh, like 63 waves of enemies, and then you finally fight Jad, and you get the delicious fire cape. This is basically the same thing, but an upgraded version that is harder. And of course, with a harder version, you're going to get a better reward. And if you complete this, you will get the kiln cape, which is not the one that I have right on. It's like the black rocky one that looks 10 times better and is stronger. Of course, like I said, it was more challenging. Now, the biggest challenge of this, the final boss of the fight kiln is two jads at the same time. You heard that right. Two jads, you're going to fight them at the same exact time. As if one wasn't hard enough, people have so much difficulty just killing one jad. All right, now, as much as I would love to go fight the double jad, destroy it and get the kiln cape, we got a lot of other stuff to show, but I did want to finish the first wave just so I could show you this. It also drops uh, little crystals and vulnerability crystals that will uh, absorb a certain amount of damage. So, as you can see, I can just go ahead and take everything off, and they ain't gonna hit me shit. Although, I'm pretty sure it doesn't last that long. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's based on hits, so it's probably gonna break right now, and then I'm gonna die. Yeah, there we go. It's already broken, and now they're gonna poop on me. Alright, so the next mini game we're going to be checking out is the Dominion Tower, which also happens to be my favorite mini game. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like a fight arena for you versus bosses. Now, it's going to be any bosses from quests or just bosses in the normal world like the Corporal Beast, Jad, or the King Black Dragon. Now, you're going to come in here and you're going to talk to this guy. He rambles a lot, so make sure you just hold down that fucking spacebar button and just say you're the greatest warrior alive and to say no. You don't care about what, what else he has to say. And then you head over to these stairs right here, and this is where you start. Now, make sure that you have your inventory all set up already before you start. I recommend Sarah Bruise because they heal more health, and you definitely want a ranged and melee switch with an anti-dragon fire shield. That is very important, because you're going to probably fight some dragons, and if you don't have that, they'll destroy you. But anyways, you're going to click on Endurance, and it's going to give you a fight. Looks like our first fight is the Calphite Queen. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's take this bitch down. All right, I probably should have overloaded earlier so that I'm not fucking taking damage while I attack her, but that's okay. Uh, I think she attacks with, like, all attack styles. So I'm gonna go ahead and protect from magic. That way, um, our ranged... She'll hit me with ranged, my armor will, uh, will absorb that. And then her magic hits won't hit us as much because protect from magic. Alright, there we go. That is the first phase down, and then I believe she's going to transform into her... Protect from range. Melee phase, I mean. There you go. The phase that you range her on. Let's put it that way. And uh, we can change up her prayers right here so we have more range damage. And I think she's like super tanky. It's really hard to hit her in this phase, I feel like. Ooh, there's that. There's that honest bolt spec that healed us. <laughs> if you're wondering what that weird ass fucking sucking sound is. Oh my god, that's so hilarious. I'm gonna have nightmares from that sound. There we go. Is that it? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get wrecked. GG, Miss Calphite Queen. Another one down. Well, actually, that was actually the first one, wasn't it? All right, let's try another one. Let's see what we get. And we get the King Black Dragon. Shouldn't be too hard. This is why I told you guys to bring the Dragon, Anti-Dragon Shield, or the Dragon Fire Shield. Same shit. Um, let me overload it up for this one. Get our stats boosted. And then I think I will, I guess I'll Soul Split, since I'm going to be up close. I'm not really sure what the best option is. But I mean, the KBD is a pretty easy boss. I shouldn't have much trouble anyways, right? Yeah, let's use our Vine spec. It's over for you, boy. It is over for you. Get wrecked, son! Easy peasy, get out of here! Get out of here. We even got ourselves a drop. Oh shit, okay. We're gonna do one more fight because we got Jad here, guys. I gotta show you my skills, okay? I gotta show you my skills. We're gonna fight Jad now. Now, um, Jad's usually hard for people. Because they don't know the prayer switches. But if you know the prayer switches, he's super fucking easy. I mean, plus I have a divine, so I can afford to take some hits. But anyways, how it basically works is uh, you want to... when If you're going to melee him, you want to keep melee on it most of the time. And then when he goes up and uses other attacks, you switch to them. As you can see, I'm not even getting hit at all. He, sl he smacked me across the face there, but I had protect from melee on. 
and he's trying it again because he's a dumbass. And that's basically how it goes. And he's going to go up here, that's going to be the magic attack, and then go right back to the defensive. Alright. Easy motherfucking peasy, get out of here, Jad. Alright, that's a range one. Got that in right on time. Oh my god, he's already dead. Oh, that looks sick. GG! That was nothing. That was nothing. I mean, I do have super overpowered gear and hit him like 60s every time. <laughs> you know what? That's all skill. Alright, so let's check out some scaling. I already showed you guys you can get a Slayer task over there at Curadel, but let's check out some of the other skills. Now, one thing I noticed that I really liked is uh, all the skills have like tons of different areas to train. So just mining alone, you can see you got Varak Essence Mine, Falador Mine, Mining Guild, and then you have Living Rock Caverns, Jatizo Mine, Lunar Essence Mine, and Heroes Guild Mine. So it's nice just to be able to go to random different places, check out other ways to train, Cause I mean, you know what? Nobody really likes mining, but when you're doing it next to like a fucking pit like this and some water, it makes it not as bad. Of course, they also have working summoning. You get charged from killing monsters, bosses, stuff like that, and then you can come over here and talk to pick up sticks. He'll give you these secondary ingredients as well as any shards or pouches you need, and then you can go over to the obelisk and make your pouches and summon your monsters. Even rune crafting as well. They got all the different altars, and they even have the rune span, which makes rune crafting so much easier. You simply teleport over here and then go into the rune span entrance. Alright, so we got some essence in our inventory and then we siphon off of these monsters. Okay, this is fucking awesome, man. Rune crafting is such a uh, annoying skill to train, but when you can do it like this and it's semi AFK, it's so much better. So basically, how it works is I'm siphoning off like rats right now because I'm, uh, you know, I'm very low level rune crafting. As you go up, you'll be able to go to the high level one and there will be better stuff to siphon off of faster XP, and such. Now the cool part about all the skills here is they're all thoroughly coded and they've got everything you might want. So even with Huntra you'll find roaming implings around the world which you can catch and open up for prizes. Increasing your agility will actually help your run energy and even your thieving chance. So as you can see the skills are intertwined as they should be. Alrighty guys, so we checked out the mini games, we checked out the skilling, and now it's time for the cream de la crop, the moment you've all been waiting for. I am going to fight some very challenging bosses and the first one that I'm going to fight which I'm extremely excited for is the Queen Black Dragon. Now maybe I went in there a little too quick and need some time to breathe. Alright, no we don't. Throw on the overload, let's do this. We're gonna defeat the Queen Black Dragon. It's completely coded to its full potential, it's got all the phases, it's got all these spawns, the enemies, the fires, fucking waves and shit, and it's gonna be pretty tricky. So let's go up to full health. I think we can attack her now and start getting some damage on her. Alright, let's do this! Now the cool part about bosses on this um, server is some of them are free, but some of them actually require prerequisites. So if you go in and try to do Tormented Demons, it's going to tell you that you need to complete a quest. Don't worry though. Oh god. What is this, the fire thing? Okay. Don't worry though, you don't actually have to complete the quest. You just have to get the skill requirements for that quest. So if it says you have to do Edgar's Roost or some shit, and that requires 50 agility, simply get 50 agility and then you can kill that boss. I think that's a really cool mechanic to add in because it just it gives you reason to skill in it. It actually makes it more enjoyable. Oh god, don't don't no, I'm don't embarrass myself like this, please. I just started. Oh my god, another fire? These aren't that hard, but I think as you go up higher, more of them start coming in. And that's where shit gets real tricky. Um I do have these vine specs, which are really good. I bet I I bet you they'll work on him too. But now that she's already almost dead, I should probably wait and save it. I don't worry about a killer too. Alright, I think we can just run through it like this, just fucking bum rush this bitch. That's right, boy! Oh yeah, it's this thing. Click it! Alright, that was easy. Alright, next. Alright, now we just attack her again. I think I'm gonna use my vine spec. Let's see how, how much damage that'll do. Oh my god. Oh, and it's, it's double hitting her as I'm hitting like fucking 200s with it. There we go. Oh no, it's this fucking guy! Okay, I'm just gonna try to kill her through it. These guys are so hard to hit. Oh no. I didn't even notice that thing was coming. These things are so fucking hard to hit, I swear to god. These purple guys, their defense is like quadruple the Queen Black Dragon. I don't even want to bother trying to kill him. Here we go. Come on dude, just one more hit! No, he just spawned another one right then! Let me try to kill him first. Oh, I killed him one shot, perfect. Oh my god, can you just die already? What is it with bosses being 1 HP? Bosses just love to be at 1 HP with me. I'm gonna get hit by this one, aren't I? They love to be at 1 HP with me and then just stop letting me hit them. It happens all the time. And then I hit like a fucking 1. There we go, okay. Uh, okay, we click this one now. Very nice, very nice. So far so good, guys. 
Why did that hit us 200? Oh, okay, there's a worm here. Fuck this bitch ass worm up. Think you're a worm? You're, you're just a bitch. And right back to the QBD. Let's throw on a. Actually, okay, I already spec'd. Oh no, it's three. It's three, okay. No, we're on the third phase. We completed the second phase. Now I understand. Can you fucking stop with these guys? What are these? What are these like? They make it so much harder. It's already hard enough, man. Oh, they're healing it. Okay, fuck that. I'm not even gonna attack it. I'm just gonna attack the QBD. Try to keep her damage good. I think one more phase after this. Is that it? Okay, the one I got cut over here, over here, over here. Ugh. This is the last phase. This is the last phase, guys. Okay, there's more worms. I'm guessing he's gonna spawn more purple things, probably. That's annoying. But what can you do? What can you do? We got a lot of food, so as long as we focus, we should be fine. Oh my god. Okay, that thing hits me multiple times. That's scary. Alright, let's hit this bitch. Go, go, go. Nice. Ooh, okay. That's good. Oh my god, her hits are so fucking hard. Doesn't it do another one now? Okay, I guess not. That's good. Alright, keep hitting her. Let's keep getting her health low. What even hit me there? Oh my god. I don't have enough food! Alright, we're specking her. I don't care. It's time to spec. What hit me right there? Can you tell me what's hitting me right now? I'm getting hit right now by nothing. Maybe that's because I'm like getting continuously burned. Oh my god, there's fucking four of them now? Oh! <gasps> Dude, this is not cool. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna hit her. I'm just gonna try to out-hit them. They're gonna start healing her, it's gonna be over. Maybe I can get one more spec then. We have a good amount of food. But damn, dude, these guys are crazy. Kill me, Morty, quickly, hurry! Nah, just- just heal, whatever, man, I don't care. Like, there's too many of them, like, I'd rather just- I need to just do damage on her. I don't have time. I don't have time to kill them, that's the problem. We almost have enough spec. She's gonna do another fucking fire breath. Okay, no, I thought it was the firewalls. I'm still gonna die. I'm literally constantly eating these to out-hit these guys. Okay, well, there's no reason to hit them now. Now I think we might be able to out- Actually, we might be able to out-hit them. She, she's not gonna heal that much. Like, staying at, like, the same HP. Okay, here we go. Firewalls? Are you kidding me? If I die here... If I fucking die here, I'm so pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm done. Oh, I wanted to kill it so bad. I'm not even, there's no, there's no way. There's no way I'm trying that again. <laughs> what is that? She fucking froze me, dude. She froze me right on the fucking fire and then I just get stacked and instantly die. Okay. Well, we failed that challenge, but that's okay. There's another challenge that we will, I think we'll be able to do. Maybe you guys can beat the, uh, the king, the queen black dragon. I don't know. If you do, fucking let me know, because that shit was really fucking hard, even with max gear. I just don't get it, man. Those 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 purple guys are impossible to hit, so I can't hit them. But then when they're alive, I get hit by I get fucking frozen, dude. I got destroyed by being frozen. That was horrible. All right, well we're gonna do the other challenge, but before that, um, I do want to check out a couple other bosses. I actually did not even mean to over overload there, but it doesn't matter. How about we do? Something easy. Let's do fucking Bork, man. Bork's always easy. Oh my god, I'm so pissed. Ugh, damn it. You guys better avenge me. You guys better avenge my fucking death. Here's Bork. This guy's gonna be a bitch. He's gonna be easy. I cannot believe that she froze me there. What is that? That's so unfair. That is so unfair. And then those purple guys are like, they have tr like quadruple her defense? Why is that? This bitch is the queen black dragon and you guys tank my hits more than she does. Woo! Congratulations, you have slain Bork. Get out of here, dude. That's a sick little, uh... I like that. I like that. It makes me feel even more special about my achievement. Alright, but either way, guys, this is the Possessed Mage. And this is the other challenge, which is just as hard, if not harder, than the Queen Black Dragon. And this one's gonna be pretty tricky. This is not meant to be fought by yourself. This is meant to be fought with a group. But we're going at it ourselves, and I just double overloaded like an idiot. So give me one moment to heal up. Because she can take you from full health to no health in uh, literally a second. So let's fucking go. Let's go. All right. So I've actually kind of figured out a secret. This boss was a lot harder when I was trying before, but I figured out uh, a tactic to make it a little easier. Basically, that does a lot of damage. All of her stuff does a lot of damage. That'll like one hit you within a couple seconds. Um, the basic idea I found is just to not stop moving. 
if I just keep going back and forth, hitting her, as you can see, I'm avoiding most of her attacks. So I've come up with like a, a little tactic, a little tactic to be able to solo this boss. I don't think anybody's soloed this thing before. I'm gonna destroy the. Oh my God! That see what I mean? Two four hundreds. Jesus Christ! Man. We're gonna we're gonna have to be high health because that might happen again. All right, we're under eight hundred health. That's the danger zone, boy. I don't even know it hit me the 400s last time, which is even scarier, because it could have been the tornado, could have been, could have been fucking anything, dude. So I don't know when it's gonna come again. Watch your step, don't fucking say that. Okay, we got a big hit. Ooh, big boy hits. What? Critical after critical? I feel like the one good thing is that her range defense is very low, or maybe her defense in general. So I'm hitting almost every time. Unlike those purple fucks in the QBD, goddammit. Oh my god, see, I gotta hit 400 there! But it was only one, I would have been dead if it was two. So let's keep eating then. Because I'm so close to killing her, I don't want to lose now. That would just suck. Just like the fucking QBD, dude. She's gonna watch, she's gonna freeze me. She's gonna freeze me and then hit me four times on her own. Oh, sorry, you lost. I'm actually really to myself right now. Did that it? One more hit. Oh, we got the honest bolt spec too. Here comes the suck. Oh my god, there's a two eight four hundreds. That would have been done if we weren't paying attention to getting our health up. Oh, we did it! Holy shit, we did it, oh my god. All that sound, just 46 rune bars, 11 blue charms. Ooh, you even got a, a huge ranged XP lamp. Okay, 400k XP, Jesus Christ. All right, well, wow. Um, it sucks that we weren't able to kill the QBD. That was very disappointing. Very angry at those pieces of shit, fucking purple things. I'm just angry that she freezes you. How stupid of a mechanic is that? Jagex, Jagex, just, what are you doing? But, we soloed the Possessed Mage, and we might be the first person to ever do that. I hope so. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be it. We went over everything, all the features, skilling, minigames, bosses. I fucking hate the Queen Black Dragon, with all of my heart. If you guys come on here, you have to avenge me and kill the QBD, because that was just disgusting. Unfair. That's like me going in with a death touch dart and killing the QBD. That's not fair, is it? That's what she just did to me. She death, she death darted me. But either way, honestly, after playing through the server, I can say it's very well put together. I love the graphic system. It looks amazing. And I love that everything just works up to its full potential. You know, the minigames are all coded very well, and especially the bosses. You know, the QBD, as much as I hate the QBD now, um, it was super challenging and super fun because of that. Because it's a challenge, but you know, it's actually enjoyable since you're not just standing there attacking a boss and auto-retaliating over and over. And of course that makes the rewards even greater. When you get something good, it feels better because you weren't just fucking killing a stationary boss that's not even attacking you back. So overall, a very solid server. If you guys want to hop on to Nadra, you can go down in the description and click the link to their site and download the client. I recommend running it in resizable mode with a high graphics. It's a very efficient client. It runs really well on my computer. I'm sure it'll run really good on yours as well. And uh, everything just looks really nice. So if you guys like the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to be notified when I upload more videos. And have a nice day.